Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Amazon favorites. I know these videos are super popular. I've only done one, I think, which is random because I buy everything at Amazon. Everything. <laughs> Lately, recently, during quarantine, my Amazon spending habits have definitely gone up. <laughs> so I thought that we would do a video if you want to check out my last one that I did, I'll leave it in the description box down below. All the things in this video are brand new, nothing I covered in that video, although those products of course I still love. I've got my bed on there, I've got my cool lighting fixture, and like just a bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, like I said, check that one out. But today we're going to be talking about kind of a mix between fashion stuff, beauty, home decor. Home decor? Is there decor? No, not really decor, but some kitchen, storage, um, and just some cute shit. I have literally so many things that I could include in this video. I'm trying to keep it to 10, and then I'll just do more videos because, like, there's just so much. There's just so much. And let me know like if you guys enjoy these types of videos and if you do I will keep doing them periodically for you and everything that I mention is going to be linked in the description box down below. I'm gonna stop talking, we're gonna get in the video. Alright, so if you guys would like to see my Amazon favorites, some of my Amazon favorites, a couple of my Amazon favorites, a few, <laughs> then keep on watching. I'm not gonna lie um, but I'm testing out this new mascara from Urban Decay called Lash Freak and I in person you know on camera everything gets washed out so that's why I oftentimes will wear lashes because ask me why I'm doing this right now because it looks better on camera if I have lashes, but in like real life, I don't really wear lashes regularly. You know what I mean? But when I don't have them on on camera, I feel naked. <laughs> but I am really liking this mascara, just side note, it has nothing to do with Amazon, but just figured I would make mention. I want to let you guys know that everything that we talk about in this video is affiliate linked. I am an Amazon affiliate. I do have an Amazon store. So it's basically a place where I favorite all the things that I purchase. Nothing in my Amazon store is just like random shit. Like, I mean, it's all random shit, but it's stuff that I've actually purchased. So I basically, every time I buy something, I just add it in there that you guys know what I've been buying and if you want to purchase anything I do get a small commission and it is very very appreciated I am on a road to becoming debt-free am I on a road I'm trying to get on a road to become debt-free so anytime you guys use my links anytime you guys support my channel it means the world to me and it just helps me to get into a better financial situation and to get out of debt. Um, I did see actually another YouTuber, her name is Sam, Samaj is her channel. She did a whole series on how she got debt free and she talked about it a lot and I wanna say 2019, she called it like 2019 debt free or debt free 2019 or something like that. And she did a series um, talking about what her debt was and then how she paid it down and all that. I'm not really good with finances and numbers. It's not my specialty. So I don't really want to get into like doing a series on it because I don't think I'd be really helpful. <laughs> but I'm trying to do something kind of similar to what she was doing in, you know, becoming debt free. And I do have quite a bit of debt that I'm trying to get out of. Um, I'm not one of those influencers that is rolling in the dough. So, um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know if you do purchase anything, no pressure, but I will get a small commission and it is very, very appreciated. So I just want to put that out there to you guys and just be honest because I love you. 
All right, there's two things that I was gonna mention that I'm actually wearing right now. The first is this silk scarf. And I love this thing. This was like $6.99. Now it's not, I don't think meant for like your hair, but I was seeing a lot of girls wearing like scarves in their hair on Pinterest and I just thought it was so cute and such like a summer vibe. And I saw this one I wear a lot of black if you guys <laughs> are new and you don't know this. I wear a lot of black tops. And so I wanted to get something that had some kind of a color but nothing crazy. So I got this pink one. It has like a really cool print to it. I'll insert a clip of the actual scarf print so that you can, guys can see it. But I just loved this. I just thought it was so cute. It will go with so many things. And you can wear it when you with your hair up in a bun or down like this or around your head like there's just so many ways that you can wear it so I just really love this and you know $6.99 I am a prime member by the way so all of my shipping is free and I do not order anything that isn't prime free shipping so just because why would I Right, and then the other fashion item I wanted to talk about is this name necklace. So it just has my name, Jamie, um, and I think this was, I want to say $16.99 plus a $2 coupon, because you know how like on Amazon underneath it'll say like $2 coupon, click and save, and like you click it and then it'll apply $2 at checkout. Um, so it was one of those, I think it was $16.99 and then it had like the $2 coupon, so technically $14.99 and I just thought it was super cute. I just loved the font on it. All right, so I'm gonna move to some kitchen stuff. So the first kitchen thing I wanted to share was this cute little silicone set. And it is a marble print. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that on camera. All right, can you see this? It has like a marble print to it, which is just so cute. It has um, tongs and two spatulas. This one is like a spoon and a spatula, kind of hybrid. It also has these little, what do you call this? A whisk. So I got these because I realized that I really have janky kitchen shit, like a lot of janky kitchen shit. Um, and I'm obviously cooking a lot more and I'm home a lot. So I just was like, you know what? I want some pretty stuff. I've been making homemade yogurt. I've been making homemade healthy cookies and things. Um, and so yeah, I saw these, I want to say they were like $10, maybe not even, and I was like, they're minis too, so they fit into the drawer like really nicely, and they're just, they're so cute, and I don't know, every time I open the drawer, it kind of just makes me happy because I have marble printed kitchen stuff. You're going to see a theme of marble happening because I have a thing for marble print, but um, the other thing too in the kitchen is I just decided I wanted I don't know and it part to do with you know being in quarantine I took my already extreme OCD when it comes to organization and cleanliness and home decor and all that took it to another level and I organized my kitchen cabinets and I got these containers because they're so cute and they're airtight. I live in Vegas, it is the summer, it is very, very hot, and when it's very, very hot, bugs like to come into your house because it's too hot outside and they're looking for water. And if you have some food, they'll take that too. So I wanted to put everything in airtight containers to make sure that I wasn't attracting any bugs and also it just keeps the food fresh and it looks really pretty. And these ones are so nice because they just have this lid and it just snaps down like that. 
and it comes with the labels so these are um, chalk labels and it comes with the pen as well and it just looks so cute in the cabinet I will insert a clip of the cabinets now don't judge there is it's as good as it's gonna get for my rental kitchen I also got these ones and these come in a pack of six as well these came in a pack of six I want to say they were like thirty six dollars for these ones these are very high quality though this is the same idea but these are just like screw on cover jars but they are plastic BPA free um, and they did not come with these this label was left over from the other set um, but I wanted to get different ones just because these ones I think are a quart and a half, 1.5 quarts, so they hold quite a bit. But the packages that I get that, you know, only have maybe 16 ounces or like whatever less in it, I didn't want to waste a whole one of these on. So I got these. These are 32 ounces, so they're a little bit smaller. They hold a little bit less, just a different shape, but they still match and they still look really nice in the cabinet together. So, um, yeah, and the six pack of these was, I think, $20 or $20, $24 or something like that. These ones were more, but they're definitely different. So, like, these ones are just a high-quality, airtight seal situation. All right, moving from kitchen. Oh, I did just want to show you guys um, this other organization thing. I showed this on my Insta stories when I got it, and it is this. <laughs> already full of stuff, so. Um, it's this lipstick tower. I love this I wish I got this sooner it holds so many lipsticks and it holds a bunch on the top as well I'm gonna insert a clip of it on my vanity so that I don't have to keep moving it um, but I love it it holds so many lipsticks and I love that I can see everything I color coded everything I did all the purples and then I've got some nudes and then I've got pinks and reds all together um, but I love that I can see everything now. Most of these are my Urban Decay lip collection, and then I've got some Charlotte Tilbury on top here, but, um, I love it. It's so great. I have a drawer for lip lipsticks as well, but these are the ones that I would go to. These are my favorite formula because they are the Urban Decay. I love the Urban Decay lipsticks, and I just love this tower. It was, I don't remember how much it was. It was like $20, $20 maybe? so worth it this next item is this was an impulse buy sort of um i don't know if you guys know um grande cosmetics they sold at sephora i interviewed the um founder on my podcast and she had mentioned this product and said that she loved it so much it was like her number one thing that's helped her get through quarantine and it's what sold me on getting it um, and it is very similar to the Revlon styler that you guys have probably seen a bunch of people review on the bristles got kind of dented from sitting in this bin here um you've seen probably seen a bunch of people review the Revlon styler this is not the Revlon styler in fact this is a knockoff of the Revlon styler I wanted the Revlon styler for a long time because I have really long hair uh, blowing out my hair is never something I've ever done on my own. I hate blow drying my hair. I'm kind of challenged when it comes to hair. I don't know if you guys have noticed I never talk about hair on my channel because it's just not my specialty. Um, I have very long hair and I just let it air dry. Most of the time it looks not good, but a product like this is so great because somebody like me, I can actually get kind of a blow, at home blowout look with very little effort so if you guys don't know what this is it's a hair dryer and it's a brush all in one so basically you just put it on your hair and it's blow drying your hair as you're brushing it so it gives you a really beautiful blowout look now like I said this is a knockoff version so basically I went on Amazon and I just searched Revlon hair styler this came up $29. The Revlon Styler is $60. So this is 50% less than the Revlon one. And it's probably the exact same thing 
without the logo. <laughs> you know, um, because there's a bunch of these on Amazon for $30 and they just are like a no-name brand. I'm sure the same manufacturers, I mean, I don't know, but it's probably coming from the same manufacturers. I'm assuming, I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on it, but um, I will say that I did hold back from buying the Revlon one because it was $60 and I already have two high-end hair dryers that were like over $100 each. And I'm like, do I need another hair dryer to spend $60 on another hair dryer? And then when um, Alicia Grande had said that she was obsessed, I was like, you know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Because I hadn't gotten a haircut. My, my hair was looking terrible. And then when I saw it for $29, I was like, yes, girl, yes. I got it. I love it. I love it. I'm glad I got it. It's not something I would do every day. I don't like to put heat on my hair all the time. But when I want my hair to look kind of more polished, it works really great. It works really, really great. Bouncing around, I had to go get a couple of things. Um, some more house stuff. So this is a, a decorative item and I, I love it so much. Okay, so this is a Himalayan salt essential oil diffuser. And in my last Amazon video, I had mentioned the oil diffuser that I was using. I think I mentioned two of them, maybe. I love diffusing essential oils in my house all day, every day. It's part of my routine is to turn them on and let them go. I just love them. I love the vibe. I love the smell. I love the light. I just love everything about it. I saw this one. I also have a Himalayan salt lamp that I did get on Amazon that's in my Amazon store. The idea of Himalayan salt when it is um, heated is it releases positive ions and absorbs negative ions. So it basically cleanses your space of negative energy, essentially. So I have one of those in the living room, but this is full of Himalayan salt. It has a shell on the outside. And then in here, you put the water. I had it on, so you can see the fresh steam coming out of it. Um, and it has the little measuring lines here. And then these are the buttons that you can um, set it to, like, do every 30 seconds to do a mist, which makes it last longer, or a continuous mist. You can set it on a timer, six hours or two hours, and you can do the lights. There, it, it, there's, like... I don't know, 15 or 20 different colors it will turn if you want it to. It'll change from like pink to purple to blue to yellow, or you can set it on the color to just be steady state just that color, um, which I do. I tend to just leave it on the white light because it's it glows a little bit pink because of the salt. It's what I do. I'll insert a clip of it in action of me, you know, of it on in my house so that you guys can see, but I love this so much. It's just, every time I look at it, it just brings me so much joy. I will say when you, you first get it, um, it actually didn't give off very much mist at all, and I was kind of disappointed, and I looked in the reviews, and it, it was like, this thing sucks, it does, hardly any mist comes out of it. And I was like, man, like hardly any mist was coming out of mine. And then as it got warmed up, and as I started to use it, it the plume got bigger. So you just gotta kind of give it some time and let the motor like do its thing and heat up and warm up and it, it actually works just fine. Just have some patience with it, but I love it so much. I love it so much. This little thing is totally random and I saw it on TikTok. TikTok made me buy it. It is a dry erase board. It has my stuff written all over it. It is glass and it is marble print on the top. And I left the pen in the other room, but it's basically just a dry erase board, so you can just erase this right off of it. And it sits on the desk, and it has like a little thing that slides out. You can keep pens or whatever you want in here. Um, and it just sits on your desk, and it's so pretty. 
Like it's so pretty to have on your desk and it's environmentally friendly because you're not using paper and throwing away a bunch of post-it notes. I am forever making lists. I have lists for my lists and I just was going through a lot of paper and so it just made me feel better about my lists. Plus it's on my desk. I can see it and I can just change things and you know wipe things off. I have my life things and my work things and then my schedule for the day and just like little notes that I need to take. I love this. It's like $32 or something like that but I love that it has the gold and the marble. They do. It does come in like other colors I think but um, I just thought it was so aesthetically pleasing for what it is and it's glass so um, you can stick things to it if you like or whatever. Another office thing that I, I wish I got sooner. I don't know what took me so long to get this and I don't even know like what made me, I, every time I sit on the couch and I'm working, I end up having to like get a throw pillow and put it on my lap to prop my computer up because it hurts my neck to like do this and like look down at my computer. And then like I have like so much stuff, notebook or like my phone and like whatever. So I ended up getting this lap desk, marble, and it's so cool. On the back it has this little like bean bag type of a situation that sits on your lap. And then here it has this little hole so you can stick your phone on. You can put a mouse if you have a mouse. Oftentimes I just stick like a notepad here. And then my laptop is on here and I actually just got this yesterday and I used it last night and I was like, this, this is the greatest thing ever. Where has this been all my life? You can use this in your bed or on the couch. It has little handles so you can carry it with you. And I love that it has the marble print. So it's like cute, you know? It's not like you have this like ugly ass little thing like laying around. Um, so I think this was $30 as well, if I'm not mistaken. So worth it. It just like helps me to be able to work. Cause I end up, I end up working into the night. Like, let's be honest. So when five o'clock comes, I want to move from my desk to the couch, but I want to work. And so this will help me to be more productive because I don't have to have a pillow and things are scattered everywhere and then I'm unmotivated and I don't really want to do it so then I don't. It just makes things easier, you know? And the last thing I want to talk about today, it's not that exciting but I think worth it and this again um, has to do with being in quarantine, why I got it. And what it is is an air purifier and it's just a little mini air purifier. It has three settings, this is the button. Um, and the reason that I got this was because I'm in the house all of the time and I just was suspecting that the air quality in my house was not good because I was not feeling good. I actually was suspecting that I might have mold in this apartment and they're having someone come and test the unit because the person who lived here before said that there was a terrible leak in the roof. I was suspecting it when I first moved in in the bathroom. Um, I just haven't been feeling great lately and my asthma and all my respiratory symptoms have been flaring up the past since I moved in here really and I decided to get this air purifier to help not only with that but allergies and it helps if you have pets um, it helps with pet dander just anything in the air dust and anything like I notice when I lay down at night to go to sleep like my nostrils get blocked up as soon as I lay down in bed. Um, and this helped so much. I put this on and it's very quiet. It isn't something that's going to keep you up at night or anything. And you can turn it to the lowest level um, if you really want it to be like super quiet. Even at the highest level though, it doesn't make enough noise that it bothers me at all. It's less sound than a fan, you know? Um, and the it has a filter inside and it says you're supposed to change the filter every three to six months. I probably shouldn't be touching it, but like whatever. So yeah, so ever since I put this in my room, I have really noticed a difference. I can smell it in the air. Like 
you know, it's so hot here and I have the air conditioner running, so I can't have the windows open because it's like 112 out. And it gets musty inside the house, you know, with the air conditioner cranking all the time. And I was smelling, the like, I, I felt like every time I walked into my bedroom, I could smell it being, like, musty. And then I put this in, and it's, like, gone. It It's, the air is clean. Like, you can, you can tell. Like, you can smell how clean the air is. It works really well for this little thing. It's tiny but mighty, you know. It does have a plug. This is the thing, I just unplugged it so I could show it to you. And it's white, so it doesn't like, it's not total eyesore. They do have one in black, though, if that's your thing. Um, so, it, like I said, it's not the most exciting thing, but like, if you're staying home, like, you know, you wanna have clean air, right? I think, <laughs> I think that's always a good idea. So that is it for my, I think that was 10 items, right? Am I missing anything? I wanna show you one more thing, just in case. This guy. I got this, it's a tripod, it extends out, um, I think it's almost five feet tall, maybe four and a half feet tall, something like that, and it has a little um, ring light, the ring light has three settings, oops, on, different color settings, so it's like cool, warm, and then like daylight, um, and you can make it super bright, or you can dim it, down and then what I love is it has this little thing for your phone it's great if you're on TikTok or if you're filming any kind of videos or if you have a zoom meeting and you want good lighting um, or you want to do like an Instagram video or live or photos even um, it's just really great and it's small and compact so it's easy to kind of just travel with um, this piece here unscrews and comes off um, this piece here comes off so you can literally like break it down and stick it in a bag and take it with you to go This was like $49 I want to say but I really like it I mean obviously I have a big ass ring light that is shining on me right now to film my YouTube videos But I wanted something on a tripod that I could easily take with me and um, I could change rooms with it because like this one is kind of like stationary. I mean it I could move it but like my filming setup in this room is like a little bit more um, studio quality and this really isn't this is just like a selfie ring light you know so I've been using it for TikTok and you know if I want to film anything or shoot anything not in this confined um, already pre set up space if that makes sense so I really love that and if you're in the market for a ring light I've been loving it. it's really good so that is it for today's video of Amazon favorites I've got so much more that I could you know talk about but I'm going to save it for another video and that way I can um, you know keep doing these videos for you guys let me know if it's if you're interested if you love Amazon if you've tried any of the products that I mentioned if you're interested in any of the products I mentioned um, or if there's anything on Amazon you think I'd love let me know that too. I have a serious problem. I should have bought stock in Amazon, honestly. I feel like I keep them in business. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you never miss when I upload a video. You can follow me on social. My handle's at Glam Latte. And don't forget the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast is on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, CastBox, and iHeartRadio. All those details are in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I just want to hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you